Audi. Oh, hi, uh, I'm looking for a laser machine. Laser machine, you say? Yes, I want to cut something. Cut something you want? Oh, uh, plywood, acrylic, stainless steel, glass. Money for it. You have? Of course. Best tool for you I got in the whole universe. Everything cuts. No, 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 no. No more laser machine, I meant. Be a Jedi? I don't. Wow, um, well, that's awkward. Um, well then, I got plenty of options for you. Let's just check out there. Hi hey everyone, this is Kai. About which laser is right for you to make some gifts or earn money? Diode, CO2, Gamma infrared, or fiber? You only need to take two questions into account. What's your budget and what kind of projects or products you want to make? With that being said, I'm going to break this video down into four parts based off of your budget range and highlight the pros and cons of each laser machine. Meanwhile, the material types and the free space size will be considered too. Hope I can help you in the way that best sets you up for a successful purchase. However, you definitely need to do more research before you click the pavement complete button. Normally, a laser machine will cost you from $600 to $6,000. Let's start with $800 to $1,500. I would say this budget range is good enough for a laser beginner and the dial laser will be the perfect laser type you need to consider. The dial laser machine around $1,000 can pretty much get a decent bundle, including all the necessary accessories and material packs. About the pros of dial laser, firstly, the price is reasonable, it's much cheaper than a CO2, fiber or Galva laser. It's ideal for starting your laser engraving business. And secondly, they can cut and engrave a wide range of materials, such as wood, leather, felt, cardboard, stone, also the coat glasses and the coat ceramics. And third, the dial laser size is big enough to make a large decoration. You also don't have to worry about the free space for it. However, you must manually adjust the module and set the focus for the most dial lasers. It's not an auto function. Some people enjoy physically getting more involved with the laser world, while others don't, so it's really up to you. The actual M1 laser machine can help you with this case, as it has the autofocus setting because they have a built-in camera. You can just play your material in and operate everything on your software. And plus, actual M1 also has a blade module that can cut through the paper or vinyl which is quite special in the laser market, as it's the first 2-in-1 laser engraver and a vinyl cutter. As for the cons of dial laser, firstly, they are not for acrylic and metal. The clear acrylic cannot be laser engraved and cut by them. But as for the opaque acrylic, such as the black color or the red color, you can just give it a go, and the laser engraving result is quite okay actually. But generally speaking, the dial laser is just not a good laser partner for acrylic as well as metal, such as the gold or silver. So if you are a customized jewelry seller, there are better options than dial laser for you, since they can only laser engrave on the stainless steel when it comes to metal. As for power, it's not as strong as a CO2 laser for sure. You can find from 5 watts to 20 watts on the market. And the X2 D1 Pro dial laser machine even has a 40 watts laser module, which is probably the strongest dial laser in the global market. You don't need strong power all the time though. It depends on what kind of products, what kind of projects you want to make. So if you want to sell some coasters with a delicate eagle or cat pattern, especially the fur part, the lower power you set, the smaller beam spot you get, and the more precise result you would have. But you will prefer some stronger power if you want to sell some like really thick 20 mm thickness plywood decoration. You definitely need to have some better laser machine than dial laser. Now the budget is going up to $2,500. I will recommend you the Galva infrared laser, which is perfectly suitable for metal and plastic engraving. You can just laser engrave someone's name on a gold necklace or a silver bracelet or Apple earphones for your customers or make a platinum name tag for your pet. And the second pro of Galva infrared laser is super fast. You can literally engrave a piece of personalized jewelry in 5 seconds, a tumbler in 40 seconds. All the other lasers are just way behind Galva infrared. Why so fast? Because it's achieved by the advanced Galva technology, by precisely rotating and adjusting the galvanometer axes and y-axis mirrors in high speed. 
The mirrors deflect the laser beam with various angles to the engraved objects in no time. This is awesome for small business runners. You want to make customized products in batches quickly and sell them to get your money as soon as possible. Third, much more portable than other laser machines. You can literally just take it. You can just take this machine anywhere with your hand, can take it to your souvenir shop on the spot. You can just hold it to laser engrave on the surface of your materials, such as the doghouse. But something not perfect about the Galva infralaser is, firstly, the working area is quite small, as the Galva laser type is not for the large object laser making. Second, mostly it's for laser engraving. They cannot really cut a thick metal. Third, limit materials mainly for metal and some plastic engraving, not for other materials. However, how about we combine the infrared laser and the dial laser together to laser engrave and cut more materials? X2 has a Galva dual laser machine, which is X2 F1, the most portable, fastest dial laser and infrared laser in the world. The speed is up to 4,000 millimeters. And with a 10 watt dial laser, you can just laser on some materials precisely as a dial laser can. And the price is relatively cheaper, only around $1,500, which is only a little bit more expensive than the dial laser. Or if you already have an X2 D1 Pro dial laser machine, you can just add a D1 Pro X2 infrared laser head to your kit, which is also going to expand your business skill, just like this. Yeah, when your budget reaches this range, you definitely need to get yourself a CO2 laser cutter. The CO2 laser machine usually is the strongest, smartest desktop laser type in the laser world. You can cut and engrave significantly various materials, all the things dial laser can do, and plus acrylic, which is the first pro of a CO2 laser machine. They can laser cut and engrave all kinds of acrylic, whether transparent, translucent, or opaque. If your products are mainly about acrylic, don't hesitate to get yourself a CO2 laser machine. This is the only desktop laser machine that can deal with acrylic in the world. The light or laser beams from the CO2 tube are pretty powerful. They instantly increase the object temperature in contact and vaporize the material in no time. That's why we call it the beast in the desktop laser market. Besides the power and extensive material range, CO2 laser machines are also very safe and intuitive. For the majority of CO2, they are enclosed and the cover can stop the rapid spread of smoke. Here I'd like to mention the X2P2 CO2 laser machine. They have a dual camera system to help you better set the focus and a built-in air assist to provide an airflow to help you make the cut deeper and cleaner. They can also do the curved surface engraving. You can just make your ukulele more customized by laser engraving on the curved surface of the ukulele. And the price is only $4,500. Yeah, a whooping $4,500, but pretty fine for a CO2 laser machine. You normally have to pay at least $6,000 for a singular machine from other brands. About the cons, firstly, it's very pricey apparently. If you are a beginner and not too sure if you really enjoy laser making projects, then the CO2 laser machine is probably a little bit risky for you. Second, you need to change the tube inside of the machine once for a while, which means the CO2 tube usage life is relatively shorter than a dial laser module, and that's gonna cost you money too. <laughs> the desktop laser machine is probably not enough if you are experienced and advanced laser maker. You may want to try some industrial laser machine, for example, the fiber laser, which can laser engrave and cut all metals. This is your best choice if you produce some industrial customized metal tools. They are much more powerful than CO2 and dial laser. However, the price is very expensive, at least $8,000 guys. But let me find an alternative for you. If you really want to have a comprehensive range of products to sell, why not just purchase a CO2 laser and a Galva infrared laser? Then you can laser engrave and cut everything, literally everything. And this winning combo will help you set up the strongest power and the fastest speed for a customized products making process. For example, the X2P2 and X2F1. The 55 watts CO2 laser power and plus 4000 mm speed, they can definitely build up a dedicated relationship. In conclusion, from this form, you can definitely tell the differences between each laser type, and no one is completely better than the other. It depends on how much money you want to spend and the products you want to sell. 
Choose the suitable one for yourself and good luck with your small business. And may the force be with you.